In this video, we are going to demonstrate using the Creaform HandyScan Black to 3D scan some automotive parts, uh, specifically some plastic parts. Uh, in this case, we have a grill for a truck, and you can see how we've got it set up here. We have the part fixtured up in a way where it's kind of standing up, but yet off the table, and we have targets on the part, and then we also have targets on a targeted pad. And basically, the application here is going to be inspection. So we need to be able to scan this part all the way around. And we've set it up this way so we can do it all in one setup. So we're not going to go into a lot of detail on how the Handy Scan Black works. We have other videos. This is just more showing the application. So once we've set it up, we go ahead and just start moving around and start scanning the part. Um, both in the single line mode to get into some of the detailed areas or the regular mode, which is 22 blue laser lines. And it's kind of like digital spray painting. We just keep moving around until we fill in all the areas uh, that we're looking to inspect. We don't necessarily have to scan the entire part, just really the areas we need to inspect. Uh, for this, we're going to go ahead and just uh, scan as much as we can. Also, we're using HDR mode in this case, and what that allows us to do is scan dark uh, and light areas at the same time. Uh, basically, it uses two different laser settings and pulses between them um, because we need to pick up the lighter areas, which usually requires a faster shutter speed and lower laser power, but we also want to get the dark areas, which usually needs a slower shutter speed and a higher power laser. The HDR mode makes it very easy to be able to do both of these at the same time, so it speeds up the process drastically. And you can see this is a great part that kind of shows um, both of those uh, conditions and being scanned all at one time. So once we're done with the front side, we use the targets that are on that mat on the table, and we use those to just walk around the scanner, walk around the mat to the back side, and then you can see the fixture we've built to kind of hold this part up also has targets on it and then we can go right up that fixture and start scanning the backside. Now the advantage of this is then I have everything in one single scan as opposed to trying to scan the front and then scan the back and align those two data sets. When you're doing plastic thin walled or even sheet metal thin walled parts it can be very difficult to try to align those two data sets because you don't have really very much overlapping data. So by using the targeted table, uh, it, we'll take advantage of that. And as I said, just walk around the back, focusing on the, the uh, table, and then up the fixture and onto the back side where we have targets. And you can see the level detail on the back of this part. There's lots of holes and tabs and areas. Uh, and this is where that single line mode works really well to get into those areas. Um, and, and get some of that detail. So the backside will definitely take some work um, to be able to scan it to, to do a good job in this part. Uh, probably might take 15, 20, 25 minutes if we're trying to get everything on the part. But that has to do with just how much detail uh, is in here. And again, because scanners are line of sight, uh, we need to articulate our arm around and get all the different uh, areas of the part. So that does take some work to be able to get that. Um, again, for inspection, you'd really only scan what you need, but we thought we'd go ahead and scan the entire part um, just to uh, just to get it and to see how long it took. Um, but it's like digital spray painting. You just kind of move around. We're holding the scanner about 10 inches away from the part, and it's all line of sight. So uh, on these ribs and walls and other things, um, you need to kind of articulate around, sideways, up, down, around to get the data. And again, that single line mode can be very helpful because it focuses uh, the laser uh, on a single line and the cameras look just at that. Um, and it allows you to get into holes deeper, getting more data essentially uh, down into a smaller hole or a rib, getting down between some ribs and so forth. So you can jump back and forth between the two modes at any time, and you can stop and uh, look at the data and see if you have everything. Uh, and if you don't, you just continue scanning until you have all the data. But once you're done, you'll have the complete front and backside uh, of this part all in one scan. 
Okay, so once we're done scanning, we literally hit the stop scan button. It'll process for a minute or so. And what you're seeing here is that scan data. Uh, this has not been manipulated in any way. There's been no hole filling, no smoothing, nothing. This is right from the scanner. And you can see just how high quality the data is. Look at the level of detail. Look at how we were able to get all of the features on this very complicated part. So once we're done scanning and we're going to do inspection, the next step will be to take it into our inspection software and actually perform uh, our inspections. And we're going to show that next. So once we've saved out the 3D scan data, then we'll directly import that into our inspection software. And in this case, we're showing Polyworks. Now, we're not going to go into a lot of detail on how Polyworks works. We're really just going to show the results. We have other demos that go into uh, Polyworks. But basically, you build a report ahead of time. Uh, you, base, you tell it what things you want to inspect. You uh, import the scan data, and then it performs those inspections. So here we have a uh, what we call a uh, kind of a color heat map. We can set some tolerance zones um, with uh, you know red approaching out of tolerance and green being within tolerance, and that's all defined by the user. These are good just general uh, ways to you know look at the part, some general analysis, and to see some trends where things might be going uh, out of tolerance. Um, again, here it is a little bit zoomed up, and then here's the backside. So we can see a few areas that might be of concern. Um, you can see some of these tabs are red. Um, and then we get more into the GD&T, um, which is really, you know, getting in deeper. And for example, we've got some positional tolerances, or in this case with these tabs, we're looking at a planar tolerance to make sure um, they're all in a plane. And this information usually is going to be in a drawing that's going to tell you uh, what to inspect and what the uh, tolerances are. And those are all just plugged into Polyworks. Like I said, you import the scan data. You usually perform some type of alignment, and then it does the inspection. And once this report is built, it's all automatic. So I could scan 10 of these parts. Um, I have only have to build the report once, and I just load them in. It'll automatically inspect each one of those 10 parts and generate 10 reports. So once it's built, um, it's all automatic. So you get a visual of where those uh, measurements are and the call out and what it is. And then you also get it in a chart. Uh, and then all of this data in this chart uh, here uh, can be uh, exported out into many different formats for uh, different uh, downstream applications. So uh, there's all the measurements there uh, on here. And then if we look here, we're also doing some other planar and, and position uh, call outs. And you can see some of these in red definitely uh, are not within tolerance, and uh, you can see them there. So, uh, you know, what's key on parts like this is all of the mounting locations. So tabs, holes, um, other things that may uh, mount up flush to uh, this grill are going to be important. And uh, like I said earlier, we could have came in and just scanned those mounting locations, but we went ahead and scanned the whole thing just so... Uh, not only visually, it makes for a good model, especially when we go up here and look at this model, we get to see that nice trend. Uh, but then we know we have all the data, no matter what, if we want to go back la later and inspect some other things, um, we will have that data. So this wraps up the video on using the Creaform HandyScan Black 3D Scanner on large thin walled parts with the ability to scan uh, both the front and the back in one continuous setup, being able to do uh, parts that are shiny or dark or light all at the same time and collect uh, very accurate, very high resolution, high quality data to be used for things like inspection.